opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2-e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. e4 takes full control of the center. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. b2 develops the light squared bishop and prepares to castle king side. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Nf3 develops the knight, defends the d4 pawn, controls the e5 square and prepares to castle. e5 takes space in the center and immediately attacks the d4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. Nc6 develops the knight, defends the e5 pawn and attacks the d4 pawn. d5 takes space in the center attacks the knight on c6 and controls the e6 square. Ne7 retreats the knight to a square where it will help with the f7 f5 pawn push, after black moves the f6 knight. Ne1 retreats the knight in order to allow the f pawn to move and to later relocate the knight, most likely to the d3 square. Nd7 develops the knight toward the center to support the e5 pawn and sometimes make use of the outpost on c5. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is excellent. Master games. It is the last book move. That's not a mistake but it's not the best move either. It is good. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. That's fine. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is a mistake. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. A very strong play. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This doubles the rooks onto a single file, which allows them to team up to create threats. It is best. That's fine. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This is a fair move. It is good. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is good. This threatens to capture a trapped rook. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This moves the bishop to a more active square making it gain scope. It is best. Right on target. It is best. Very precise. 
it is best. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This allows the opponent to fork pieces. It is a mistake. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is the strongest option. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? This ignores an opportunity to capture a knight that was threatening to win material. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is a mistake. This takes an outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. This is the only good move. This threatens to kick a knight. It is a great move. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This moves the queen to safety. It is best. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This captures a vulnerable rook. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. This overlooks an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This pushes a passed pawn. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. This attacks a knight, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is excellent. This attacks a bishop, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This takes an outpost, an active square where the bishop cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is best. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is excellent. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is good. Right on target. It is best. This pins a knight, which restricts its mobility. It is best. The piece captures an opposing piece while simultaneously defending against a new threat. It is best. This defends a queen that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This is an equal trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is best. The bishop now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is excellent. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is best. The opposing rook is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. This moves the rook to safety. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. This wins time by threatening a knight and forcing it to move away. It is good. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. This threatens to play checkmate. It is excellent. Capturing that pawn wins material. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This is the start of the end game and black is losing. It is excellent. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Takes back. It is excellent. Placing a rook behind an opponent's past pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. It is best. This is the way to win a knight. It is good. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. This pins a knight to the king. It is excellent. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was a well fought middle game that white got the better of. Black got the best of white in that end game.